today I'm gonna be ranking character skins. I'm a lore person, so I'm gonna be ranking them based off of if they're cute, but also how or why they got them. If there's like a cute little backstory of why they got them. Also, yes, my hair is all out and cute and done up. There was no special occasion. My mom just thinks I'm her personal Barbie doll. This is my little tier list I have. I'm gonna explain all of these names. I did a lot of research for this video to find out like the lore, the backstory behind all the skins. And I learned that a lot of the Lantern Rite outfits are some of the best outfits, so yeah. Lantern Rite outfits are top tier. Okay, period, eating it up, eating it, gobbling it up. Yeah, it looks good. You look you look good. Cute. I, I maybe I would wear that. Alright, girl. That's, I don't know. Is it, eh, whatever, keep it pushing. It's not cute. Return it, that's all I gotta say is just return it. I'm not into it. To be honest, I don't think anybody's gonna be in these bottom two rows. And then I'd rather be naked. I don't think I have to explain that one. Starting off with Shenha. Shenha is my most favorite character in the entire game. So, she will be first. She is in the top. <laughs> Even if Shenha's outfit was like butt ugly, I'd still put her in the top because she's my favorite and also she's she's just beautiful. So can't go wrong. Although I do admit that I do prefer her her default outfit. I do like this outfit better. I don't know how to describe it. Let me let me try to say this in a way I don't sound stupid. I'm finding it. The bodysuit the heels the little headpiece is and like she's known as an exorcist and like she hurts people you know like hey i saw that person there looking at you weird do you need me to do something with them because i got him i've seen him lean over to you and whisper things in your ear if he dares threaten you i will make sure he hmm huh? you mean it's just an in joke between friends genuinely and i like i liked how like girl bossy I guess this outfit is so is this outfit do not get me wrong but like I don't know I feel like Shenha in a dress is really cute it's gorgeous and she likes it I like black it's a calming color I just I like this one better and also the lore wrapped up in her outfit like the red ropes to help her suppress her emotions That's all I got. <laughs> but I can point out other ones, I'm sure. Not right now, though. It is 10 p.m. <laughs> and also, this outfit was a gift from Cloud Retainer from um, the Lantern Ryan, this year's Lantern Ryan 4.4. That's really cute. Next up is Ganyu. I really like Ganyu's skin. I like it more than Shenha, Shenha's skin. But I have one side beef with Ganyu. Because out of the two, Ganyu and Shenha, Ganyu's the more popular one. Shenha's got the best lore. Shenha's prettier. <laughs> Ganyu's outfit was also a gift from Cloud Retainer. And I really like, you know, the, what is this, a garner? Is that what that's called? And her hair looks gorgeous in this little thingy thing back here. This dress was designed like based off of the Chingxing flower. Is that how you say that? And that's her favorite flower. So that's cute. I think I also put this in the top. It's it's really cute. It's really good. Next up is Xingxiao. Um, I don't like this outfit. It also came out in 4.4 during this year's Lantern Right, and this was a gift. I don't know. It was made for him by the Feiyun Commerce Guild. I don't like it. I really don't like it. I don't know if it's the style of it. If it's because he's a man, would I like it more if it was on a woman? I don't know. Is it the shoes? Is it the shorts? I don't know. Maybe because they did nothing with his hair. Oh, except for that little itty bitty rat tail ponytail. I don't know. I'm not into it. I don't like it. I think I'm gonna put this in, maybe return it. It's not my favorite. Next up is Lady Ningguang. Ningguang is also one of my favorite characters. This is Ningguang's evening gown. Real cute. It came out in 2.4 during the Lantern, right? And it's her formal wear. The backstory on this, I, like I said, I did a lot of research on this video. So mm, um, my backstory is kind of half-assed because I got tired. Ningguang was depressed because she threw her J chamber at Osile, um, trying to save Li Wei and she was upset about it because she uh, she lost uh, like an entire building <laughs> but then 
she got the opportunity to rebuild it. Remember that competition where it was like, give me a pound of Vermilion Knight and a Vermilion Knight and a Hermilion Knight and you win the competition so I can rebuild my chamber. She was still depressed when she got to rebuild the day, the day chamber and then she put on this outfit and went to a fancy banquet with guests that she invited to celebrate her rebuilding of the J chamber. This is going in Lantern Right Fits. It's really good. It's really cute. The color is amazing. She looks gorgeous in it. Also, did you know that this was free? Given out for free? I don't know if I was playing or if I knew what Lantern Right was at the time. I don't think I was playing yet. When did I start playing Genshin? Oh yeah, 3.2. Yeah. I yeah. <laughs> I'm pissed about that. Can they can can you Hoyoverse, can y'all redo that? Cause I want it. I need that. Next is Kaching. I don't care for Kaching. Moving on. I like her outfit, but I don't like this one better but I think it fits her more, if that makes sense. This one is cute, but I don't like it on her, if that makes any sense. Her shoes though, girl, I would so wear those, oh my God. Like the outfit is really cute and she looks really cute in it, but I have a hard time imagining her in this outfit, if that makes any sense. This came out along with Ningguang's outfit in 2.4 during the Lantern Rite, and the backstory is, it's her formal wear, just like Ningguang. Ningguang told Kaching that she works too hard and that for the lantern right she should get a new outfit to show off to the people of leeway to inspire them i don't know that's what i got i don't know so kaching had ningguang's personal tailor make this for her make this luxury dress for her and also the dress is dyed from violet grass i thought that was cool i'm gonna put this in okay period eating it up girl i don't know i don't know what it is but it's not my favorite but it is really cute Next up is Deluke. I go back and forth about how I feel about him because he's an, a stupid adult and he has no imagination and he's rude sometimes, but I'm gonna put that past me. I do really like his outfit and the ponytail. Yeah, it's kind of good. This is so plain and stupid and boring and his hair is regular and stupid and boring, but like, damn bitch, <laughs> you're eating it up. <laughs> you don't play when it comes to looking good. Like, this is a type, you know, in those movies where it's like, you don't look too bad. The girl says that to the guy and he says, you know, that, that, that's what I would say if I saw him in real life. I'd be like, you clean up nicely. It's, it, it eats. You do look like part of the Fatui, but it's good. His skin came out in 2.8, version 2.8. And based on my research, this skin just came out for funsies. Like there was no event or holiday or anything happening. It's, it's just here. <laughs> What's cool though is that this skin has special effects. I don't have the skin, so I can't show you in the game. I'll, maybe I'll get some videos if I feel like it. There's like some flames and like, there's more like distinct vibrant colors in his burst and stuff. Whatever, blah, blah, blah. But you know what's actually really, really cool though is his voice lines are different in the outfit. I wonder, let's, hold on. I was gonna say, I wonder if Deluke was the first character to get a skin in Genshin because he they added so much stuff to his skin, like the special features, effects, animations, whatever, plus the different voice lines, but nobody else has that. No, Barbara was the first one to get a skin. So I don't know why they gave all that specialness to Deluke. I don't know. Um, yeah, he goes he goes up up to the top. It's kind of good. It's kind of really good, and he look kind of looks really good in it. <laughs> He's still an asshole. Next is Jean. I don't like this outfit. I do like Jean, but I don't like her hair is the same. It's the same. I really like the color scheme though. This blue is really pretty. I understand that's supposed to be super different from her Favonian devotion outfit because like Jean is known as this hard working. She's always in the office, always busy, always dealing with somebody's BS and Mondstadt. And then like, oh, she's on vacation. She's being free. She's being like a summer girl outfit. Really cute, but I'm just, it's so different and I don't like it. Well, I remember when I first saw this skin, I was like, oh God, I think maybe now I'm used to it more, but I don't know, like the chain, that's not fitting at all. I really like Jean. 
I don't know if I would buy this outfit. I also hate this little thing up here. It's not a bad outfit. This skin came out in 1.6 and along with Deluxe, doesn't seem like there was anything special, any special event going on. It's just here. It's jeans summer wear. But you know what's really cute? Apparently, everyone... Hold on, who's everyone? Klee, Kaya, DeLuke, Amber, Noel, Lisa, Albedo, and Bra, 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 Bra all got together and came up with this outfit for Jean. It's really cute. I'm putting this in all right, girl. Like, it's fine. I'm not in love with it. I like the Garner thing. I, I really like Garners. I think they're like so cute. No, I, don't, I, I hate the shirt. I love the color of it though, but I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I just don't like this outfit. Lisa, this outfit was also released for free back in 3.4 during the second blooming event. And I'm pissed about it because I don't have it because I wasn't playing then. This skin is Sumeru themed. I feel like I didn't even need to say that. Oh my God, her shoes. I don't... Lisa had commissioned someone to make her this outfit for whenever she visited Sumeru. And this outfit is similar to the uniform that she wore when she was in the academia. That's kind of cool. I don't really don't know how I feel about this outfit. I feel like I've never really had an opinion about it. Her hair is quite cute. I really like her hair. I like the color scheme on her. Purple and green go really well together. I hate the shoes. You know how her heels are like, they don't come up all the way on the foot and these ones do? That's what I don't like. I think I'm gonna put this in all right, girl. It's fine. I don't have an opinion on it. I don't like it, I don't dislike it, it's just there. She looks good in it. I wish I could have gotten it for free whenever it was out, but I don't, I don't have an opinion about it, I don't know. Next is Fischl. I do not have Fischl, so I don't have any opinions about her. I've met her a couple times in like events. She's a little weird, but she's kind of cool. Like I kind of like her. Like I would be friends with her. She'd get on my nerves, but I'd be friends with her. There are some German words I need to pronounce. I asked my mom about it. She was born in Germany because family's military. So I was like, mommy, do you know how to say this? It's like, you're in the you know what, I'm mm, lost confidence the second I opened my mouth. This skin came out in 2.8 during the resonating, what is it? <laughs> resonating visions event. This is her presessing outfit. I don't know what that means also. I don't know any official lore. I should have looked it up when I was researching for this video, but the research for this video was a lot more than I thought it was. So I just got, I did the bare minimum, apologies. The skin name, is a reference to like a classic story in German. Also, another cool thing that I did not notice by myself. Official, stop doing all that. Look, her eye changes. It's green in her original outfit and it's red in her skin. I created another that is so cool. <laughs> I really like this skin. It was also given away for free. If I had Fischl, I would 100% want it. I, I don't know. It's just very witchy, Halloween, mystical. It's giving like when a child dresses up as a witch for Halloween in like the best way possible. Like it looks good. Her original outfit looks good too, but we're not talking about that. I feel wrong putting it in lantern right fits though. Like is, is it up there? No. Okay, Barbara. I kind of really like the backstory for Barbara's outfit. Barbara was the first character to get a skin in Genshin. It came out in 1.6 during the Echoing Tales event. This is Barbara's beach getaway island gal outfit. Some story about this outfit. Barbara was missing Jean. Jean is her sister, if you don't know. Jean is always so busy with Mondstadting being the... Oh God, what's her title? The Grandmaster, right? The acting Grandmaster. Yes, I was correct. Barbara missed her sister and just wanted to hang out but couldn't because she was always busy. But then Barbara heard of this summer event called Archipelago. I wasn't playing during this time. I've heard a lot about it. So Barbara packed up her stuff, got her cute little outfit and summered off to the beach. I like this outfit. It's really cute. I really like her shoes. I really like the color scheme. I think it's really cute. She has a garner. I'm into that. And it is very summery. In the duck purse. That's so cute. I want to put it in okay period eating it up, but it's not good enough for that. But I feel like it's better than all right, girl. 
I think I'm gonna leave it an all right, girl. Cause it's not good enough to be an okay period eating it and gobbling it up. Maybe it is, I don't know. Next is Kaya. And he was ready. I really like this outfit. It's giving genie vibes, but that's okay. Look at the jewelry, look at the hands. We've got our nails painted, we've got rings on. In love with it. I really like his braid. I remember like really liking that when this first came out. And this first came out in 3.8 during last year's summer event, Secret Summer Paradise. He got this outfit whenever he was acting in a play in that event. And this outfit is similar to Al Hatham's as well. I'm gonna put it in, okay, period, eating it, gobbling it up. I was quite excited when it came out. I don't really have anything. I feel like I should have more stuff to say about it, but I don't. It's a nice outfit. I enjoy it. I have it. I have fun for once. I have one. Next up is Klee. I don't have Klee, so I don't have this outfit, but I think this outfit is really cute. It's witchy. It's fun. This one, I mentioned that Bishels was giving like a little kid dressed up as a witch for Halloween. I was wrong. This is very much that. Do I prefer her default outfit? Yes, absolutely. It's just, it's just so cute. I love the backpack with the dodo co chain. It's very cute. But I love the witch hat. It's so cute and the, the the little gloves and i didn't even realize there's a lantern this backpack is reminds me of like cottage core yes i was gonna say cottage living this outfit also came out in 3.8 of last year's summer event the secret summer paradise Clee's mom alice is apparently a witch so like the witch hat is a reference to her mom i think it's cute it's going in all right girl same thing with barbara it's really good i would put it in okay eating gobbling it up but it's not good enough but it's also like i don't think it deserves to be an all right girl so it's an all right girl ayaka i really like ayaka i own ayaka i don't care about this outfit it ooh, the back is really cute you know how i feel about purple and blue and pink it's really cute actually I don't know what type of vibes I'm getting from this, like countryside, maybe horse girl, maybe cottage core. I don't know. There's a bunch of different vibes I'm getting from it. I don't, it, coquette with the bows and floral with the flowers. I don't know. There's a whole lot going on, but it's really cute. Her tights with the flowers on it. That is so cute. I don't care for this outfit. It's cute. And that's all I have to say about it. It came out in 3.4. There's nothing special, no event happened with it. This is Ayaka's travel outfit. The design was inspired by Fontaine dresses and it mirrors like proper ladies in Fontaine. I don't know what that means. I like it, but I don't care about it. Like it's there. I've never really had an opinion about it. So it's going in all right, girl. I like it. It's cute. Two most recent skins, Nilu. This skin came out in 4.8 of this year's summer event, Summertide Scales and Tails. I really like this outfit. I love the color scheme, blue and purple, the flower. She's supposed to be a forest fairy for when this outfit. And I don't know if it's giving fairy vibes, but it is giving magical girl and forest vibes, which I guess that's what they were going for with the outfit. She has a garner It's and it's really cute. And the outfit matches her little cake. <laughs> this one doesn't. She was a forest fairy in the Forest of Blessings in the Simulanka world. This is gonna sound weird, please don't take this the wrong way, but I like the barefootness. I like, how do I say that? God, Jesus. Like, I like the details on the feet and I like that, like, she's a forest fairy, so she's not gonna have shoes on. Like, I like the detail of her being barefoot. Please tell me you understand. I would say, okay, period, eating it, gobbling it up. If I was a Nilu main, I think I would be happy. And last is Karara. I'm in love with this outfit. I really, really like this outfit. These remind me of the Converse's that go all the way up to your knees. I used to have a pair. I want them again, but I'm really scared of judgment, but also like, who cares? Like I post Genshin videos on the internet. I should not be worried about judgment. <laughs> this outfit is called Phantom in Boots, which is, this is the only outfit that doesn't have like a super elaborate name with big words. It's just phantom in boots, that's it. This also came out in 4.8 during this year's summer event, Summertide Scales and Tails. I did not finish this event, it pisses me off genuinely. Got to the part where Traveler fell, Traveler Navia, some other people fell out of the sky. Nilu was there too, and Wanderer caught me. So I don't really know what Karara's role is. I don't know if she's a detective or she has something to do with 
the detective, but she's somebody in the fairy tale. But I really like this outfit and I have it, thank God. When I saw it, I was like, oh, that's giving. Like, let's look at the splash, splash art. Like when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, that is so cute. I love that, I love it a lot. Okay, you will notice there's two more people down here. There's two more people down here. The first one is Mona. This is her regular default outfit. And she has a second one, which is actually pretty different from the original. I forgot about these two and started recording without researching why they have a second outfit. So we'll go do that after we look at Rosaria's as well. This is Rosaria's original outfit, real cute. And then this is her other one. It says it was custom made by the church. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe I should like read things or something. I don't know, that might help out. Mona's outfit and costume made specifically to encompass the astrological the concept of the destined moment thanks to the 30% discount tickets you got for- Oh, embarrassing, embarrassing, Mona. They just exposed you and your brokenness. I saw, obviously, like people on TikTok are like, oh, they gave her a second skin because people were complaining about how sexual the first one is. Moon? <laughs> Some of their outfits were a bit too revealing according to China laws. I wanted to do both ambers and jeans, and, but I didn't feel like it. I didn't care. Mihoyo made changes to several characters, blah blah blah, who's done in response to community feedback and discussions around the character designs. They were intended to provide more modest and covered up designs while still maintaining the character's distinctive styles and personalities. Yeah, okay. I guess this one is kind of showy. I mean, regardless, I like this one better. That's good that they did that. I kind of wish I'd do that for every character. A lot of people complain about Ye Miko's outfit because it's she's a shrine maiden and shrine maidens aren't supposed to show skin, but she is. So I wonder if they'll do something like that with Ye Miko. Mm, I do not like this one at all. I'd rather be naked. Mona's little shorts though, eating it. I really like it. It's real cute. I'd wear it. Well, oh. Mm. I would compliment somebody wearing it. <laughs> I'm done running my mouth now. My throat does actually hurt. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it and if you like listening to me running my mouth, subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. Comment any video you want to see from me. I hope to see you in the next one.